Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. We're just gonna jump right in here, Scorpio, and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, all right? Keep in mind, it's not gonna resonate with all of you. It's a general reading. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, in the North Node. Um, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Sorry, I was like cracking my back here. <laughs> and um, I have a bonus tarot channel at All Signs Tarot. And I offer personal readings. And I do have a vlog channel at Val Smib. Everything you need to know is in the description box below, Scorpio. All right. Thank you. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, so you might have a specific business contract, some sort of a contract with this person, but you don't have to. It might be someone needing to get a divorce from you, but it might be stalling it. I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Um, so right away, a cycle gets closed out, and that causes them to actually not want to create an opportunity with you. And if they do, it's one where it's kind of greedy and they want something out of you. That causes them to get, like, if this is marriage and relationship or even business, it's like whatever you have done with them, it's just not enough. They want more. They expect more out of you. And something just, it doesn't, they're not fulfilled truly. They're not happy. They're not feeling too loving. And then it's messing with their own money, wealth, status, business. But they have these moments where they feel nostalgic with you. There's something from the past that they think of about you and them, maybe all the good times and Maybe you guys go and have a good time and everything feels amazing. And then things after that feel really unbalanced. I don't know if they get in trouble with, you know, there's legal matters in a toxic way. There, it's, a, it's karmic. There's something about, you know, getting in trouble with the law. I don't know. It's kind of like they choose to, or they're stalling things, you know, but they, or maybe they are in a toxic contract with you either or here. It's like they choose to remain that way. Then they get really obsessive and stalk and lurk and creep and spy on you to get more like information in a way. That makes them not really like you or have love for you. And then it makes them feel like they can break free and that they're going through a whole change and rebirth. And they're not, they're kind of stressed out at the end of this, but then not really at the same time based on them being aware and realizing what's going on and letting go. So let's see here. Wow. Okay. Jeez. I haven't seen that in a long time. Two cycles closed out. I'm immediately, I mean like done. Something is shut down twice. And that makes them very unhappy with you. So that oper they don't want an opportunity with you because they're very unhappy with you. Okay. And what's messing with their own business, money, wealth, status, or maybe this marriage or relationship is the fact that unless they were trying to trap you and get you pregnant, I don't know. It's like that, that's what made them not want to still change and grow and really let go of all this toxic baggage and everything. Unless it's about a person out, like outside of you. So where they feel nostalgic energy and happy is with friend groups and social media and society and people outside of the both of you. That's where they feel fulfilled and happy. Maybe you guys go for an outing, an event, a party, have a good time. It is in a beautiful energy. That was fun. Ah, and then they realize the injustice that they're doing to you. They realize they need to walk away from you, break up with you, or heal, or let go and release and get over something here about you and them, and they're not. They're in a lot of pain because of that. So. 
so they get obsessive and lurk and creep and stalk and spy and would try to get all this information and get all confused about it because they're not truly in their strength to fit to face some stuff and deal with some things about you and them so they realize oh i mean do you guys have kids or are you about to have a child i don't know Something about that is what makes them very irritated and impatient with you. At the same time, maybe it's just that that's why they don't have love or like you and want to, or they don't want to give you a message of love anymore because they're impatient and irritated. I don't know. But it looks like here that they're not afraid anymore to maybe relay a message to you and talk to you and tell you something here and take action. And it looks like they had an awakening experience to really change and let go of some things, especially change themselves. And that's what's making them want to actually work with you and make things equal with you. Oh, and then they realize they need to be honest with you, be fair with you, be neutral. So that's what's stressing them out, but it's in an energy where they're aware and they know they have to do this with you. It's something of a contract. It's something maybe of divorce. It's something of legal matters, but doing it the right way. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. Thank you. Bye.